Good morning! So we weren't able to vlog our adventures at the farmer's market today because it was raining so much. So we got soaked, but we got some great things. A little less produce this time and a lot more plants. First, I want to show you our farmer's market bag. Our super legit Barefoot Harvest Homestead reusable shopping tote. So excited about this. We designed these on Teespring and the coolest part is, on top of it having our logo, it also has an inside pocket for your keys so you're not digging for your keys or your wallet. Something I was always doing at the farmer's market was digging past my produce to get to my wallet, which I guess you could carry a purse and a produce bag, but I got a baby in one hand and a bag in the other. I don't need multiple bags, so I love that there was that extra little pocket. So first I will show you guys the produce we got. It wasn't a lot, but Jim had carrots today and we are super excited about that because we love his carrots. They are tiny, but they are so sweet and so delicious. Go talk to them. Go talk to the chicks. Hey guys. And then we also got our other favorites, the snow apple turnips, which are so yummy. Now let me show you the plants that we got. Our first one, which I am so excited about, is this passion fruit vine. So this is going to go on one of our arch trellises, and I am super excited to have passion fruit in the garden. Our next one is this Florida cherry, which can be bush, or it can grow into a bit of a tree if you want it to. Um, and these have little round, like hard skin cherry type fruits on them, and I'm super excited because we're basically building a little snacky portion of our garden. So something you can just walk through and snack on while you're harvesting and hanging out in the garden. Um, our next one is our moringa tree. Look at it, it's just a little baby. Yeah, I love our moringa. Moringa. <laughs> okay, I feel like we should name it. What do yeah. you guys think? Right. And I gained one dirty baby, but he did not come from the farmer's market. I made him from scratch. Okay, so come up with a name for the Moringa tree. I wanted to tell you guys some of the benefits from the Moringa tree are, what do you want? You want a carrot? Here, you can have a little baby carrot. Here, here. Oh, you got that one. <laughs> he just grabbed it straight out of the bag. Yeah, that's still got dirt on it. Some of the benefits from the Moringa tree are incredible, okay? So not only is every part of this tree edible, you can eat the leaves, um, you can eat the roots. It has some really cool benefits like protein. You can dry the leaves and crush them into a powder as a spice but not only are they just a spice, they have medicinal benefits as well. They are known to fight free radicals, um, fight inflammation. They carry such good nutrients. It actually contains antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. It helps your liver, it helps brain health. Just look it up. Look up the benefits of the Moringa tree and see if you don't wanna grow 100 of them. Okay, maybe not 100 because they get really big, but also, if you need some shade in your garden um, for some shaded plants or just to get away from the heat, depending on where you live, this is a great tree. You can keep it small, you can top it, you can prune it you know, as much as you want and keep it small, or you can let it grow into a huge, like full-blown canopy tree. Um, there's just benefits to both. So it's really cool because that tree has a taproot, so it's not super invasive. Um, and you can kind of get away planting it in a smaller area. The next plant that we got is this loquat. So it's kind of silly because I did um, just come from a loquat festival where we saved some of the seeds that um, we had sampled the fruit and we saved the seeds and we did plant some of those. But someone said at the Loquat Festival that Loquats were really hard to get started. So maybe a little bit of impatience, maybe a little bit of lack of faith that my seeds would sprout, 
but we did go ahead and buy this loquat tree. It has a pretty good head, head start on my seedlings anyway if they do sprout, um, so we could get fruit sooner because they can take a while to fruit. And um, it was only five bucks. Another great thing about loquats is you can do the same thing as a moringa tree. You can keep them really small and tidy and neat, or you can let them grow to like a full blown tree. But when you guys see a loquat tree in fruit, it is so gorgeous. Um, it's so pretty, you, you wouldn't want to pick them unless you knew exactly what they tasted like because then none last on the tree because they're so good. And they pretty much grow like weeds here in Florida. I don't know why everyone doesn't grow a loquat tree. My next one that I'm super excited about is this cranberry hibiscus. So if you can see this beautiful um, deep scarlet color, um, this is a hibiscus tree, which can be like a bush or it could be like a tree, it just depends on how you train it. But these leaves and the flowers are, are edible. The leaves are edible, the flowers are edible, and even the leaves, guys, not only are they so gorgeous, so they would be a great um, addition to a salad as far as decorative, they taste like cranberries. I chewed one up on the way home. It legit tastes like a cranberry or a craisin. Um, if you like those, definitely get yourself a cranberry hibiscus. Yeah, hi. So my last plant is papaya. So I'm super excited about this papaya tree. It's a really good size. They grow straight up, um, so they do not take up a lot of room at all. And this was another kind of impatient thing, but also a curiosity thing. It was only four bucks, I think. And um, I did plant some papaya seeds, but after I planted them, I was um, reading a little bit and figured out that they don't really like to be moved after they're planted. So this probably was a little bit of an impatience thing as well because I did start some papaya from seed. They haven't sprouted yet. I just put them in the soil not too long ago, but it was from a grocery store variety. And this is from a, you know, a local yard where I know that everything is organic and um, you know, why not support her? So it was only four bucks. It has a huge head start on my seedlings anyway, so we could get fruit sooner. Again, there's only a few more dollars to get a jump start. So I'm super excited. We are going to have loquats. We are going to have passion fruit. We are going to have Florida cherries. We are going to have papaya, cranberry hibiscus, moringa, and all kinds of yummy things. So not only did I get the moringa tree, but I also got a seed pod. So actually, um, Jim Kovaleski is one of the um, farmers at our farmer's market. Um, and I was talking to him and asking him, hey, what's wrong? Where'd your carrot go? You dropped it. Here, do you want it? So I was talking to Jim at the farmer's market and um, I was able to get a Moringa seed pod from him. These things are super cool. This grows on the tree and it will start off like green and then it um, slowly like hardens off and the seeds are inside. So that is super exciting because now we can grow all the Moringa trees we want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little farmer's market haul. Um, tell me what you guys are growing and don't forget to name my Moringa baby. I'm so excited about that little guy. I hope you guys are able to get outside, get your feet in the dirt, grow some food, and I just want you guys to remember that you're harvesting so much more than things you can eat. And Ezzy says, eat your carrots, guys. Right, Ezzy?